Ozarks, presented by Casey's. You guys have some amazing stuff here. And the cool part about it is not only can people come in and take a look at it, but also some of this is for sale. They can actually purchase it too, right? The gift shop is uh, one of the number one ways we keep the doors open for free. I mean, we, uh, our benefactor has shouldered this for many years, but one of my jobs is to attract the wonderful people at the CW to come out and, and let people know, let your viewers know that we're here. So that increases our daily donations mm -hmm. during the week. But the gift shop is starting to work. And we did get one of the best gift shops in Arkansas, and I'm going to show you why. Um, we try to work on, again, the theme of the Museum of Native American History. So mm -hmm. we try to do natural things as well as handmade things by uh, uh, artists, Native American artists. And, but we also try to keep it really fun, too. Right. So um, let's just take a walk through the gift shop. <laughs> um, one of the things right he that you're over here is that we, this is a Navajo Pottery Collective. It takes me a month and a half to get them in. And uh, because they're all handmade, signed, come with certificates of authenticity. You'll see a, a plethora of arrowheads. Um, these are all authentic and our curator will write how old they are and where they came from. These are over three to 6,000 years old from the Sahara. But these, this is the fun part of here. These are our modern arrowheads and we sprinkle them out in the rocks by the teepee and every kid gets to go on an arrowhead hunt and get one operative word, but one free arrowhead every time they come. Do you have to be a kid to do that? Because I kind of want to do it. Mm, uh, we have a uh, big kid day on Saturdays. Okay, okay. Saturdays. Just let me you know. Got okay. It. And then what's really different about the gift shop, people say, are these real? It's like, yes, they are. I mean, you're looking at uh, artifacts that are from 100 BC to 300 AD. Uh, a lot of times when we'll get a very generous donation, say from Jim and Nancy Blair of Fayetteville, they donate a whole wall of pre-Columbian art. That will free up some of our artifacts that we can put into this case to go to other collectors or museums. And because we try to keep the best of the best here. So um, that's what makes it really unusual. I mean, from a uh, 50 cent arrowhead to just incredible piece of art because we are an art museum. We're the other art museum. Um, this, this is everybody's favorite. These are from Guatemala. These are like little beaded hummingbirds. Uh, it supports this amazing woman's hospital in Santiago, Guatemala. So there's a lot of ways we pay it forward to help other people. Okay, this is really cool too because there's a 12,000-year-old woolly mammoth here. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can have woolly mammoth hair. <laughs> yeah. Start your own little DNA kit. Wow, that's pretty amazing. But I mean, Cherokee flutes, and so we never know how it's going to change around here. We never know when someone's going to love what Mr. Bogle does and donate their collection. And we never know when we're going to find an incredible artist to add to the gift shop. So let's go see some more stuff. All right, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Do the Ozarks, presented by Casey's.